Hello everybody, it's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. Um, this video will serve the purpose to explain what some of my comments and suggestions are um, are during the day, what, what, what should be done with them, and um, when they appear, how, how to act on them. Uh, let's start with some commonly asked questions. Well, what does it mean when I post a day trading alert? Well, first of all, when I do post a day trading alert, it'll look a little bit like this. You'll see, um, the day, tech trader day trading, day trade alert XYZ, and then maybe a comment, maybe not, but normally uh, during the day, not pre-market, but during the day, I'll say breaking out of an early bull flag with buying, something of that nature. And so when you see that during the trading session, not in pre-market, uh, it normally means that um, that stock should be bought immediately. But during the pre-market, when you see an alert that, that, that basically it looks the same, but uh, it's pre-market before any action has occurred. It's usually because the stock's got some news, is uh, gapping up in pre-market, is thrusting for some reason or another. Um, if they approve a new drug, whatever it be. And at that point, I want to alert you to the fact that these are stocks that um, may be bought at the opening, but also you may want to watch them for the first few minutes to see whether they're thrusting ahead, backing off, consolidating, etc., and then make a decision. Now, let me give you some examples. Um, Hyperdynamics, which was given out on Friday, it opened with a little gap, it pulled back, it, got, it was very quiet here. When it thrusted early on and then formed this bull flag, that's when I issued the buy when it started coming out of the flag and buy when it started picking up. You'll see the stock went from about 570 up to about 615 very quickly, and then went into a, a bull coil for about a couple of hours. At that point, it started a slow ascent, went from 593 up to about 638. So net on the day, if you held it all the way through, you were uh, sitting at a place where you got in around 565.70 and had a chance to get out about 635. Very nice day trade indeed. Um, some other examples. Now you'll see USAT, the prior day, this is from the prior day, here. Um, when it popped here, and I was watching it carefully, it was very, very quiet, low volume. It popped, and I gave you an intraday buy around the, when I broke out above here, around a 203, 204 area. It ran up to about 215, backed off, formed a little bit of a flag or coil, ran up, flagged again, and again, stair stepped its way higher. Got up to 275 from my 204 buy, so an excellent day trade for anybody who bought it. And notice that after it ran up and pulled back, it did not violate any support levels all the way up until it broke here. But uh, that was an intraday trade where I gave you a buy alert that should have been acted on um, during, the, during the intraday session. Um, some other examples, JDSU, which moved up early on with a thrust and formed this flag right in here. When it started to move out, we gave you a buy around 26.60. Um, by the end of the day, we saw 27.55, almost a dollar gain, uh, but a beautiful rising trend. By the way, my favorite pattern, um, intraday day trade pattern, when you see it, is a sharp thrust, and a little bit of a consolidation here. That was a that was a nice one. Uh, that gave you a little bit of a chance to get in if you saw it early. Unfortunately, we didn't notice until here later on. But the sharp thrust followed by a rising angle of ascent all day. In a, in a sh more shallow angle. It's very difficult to maintain that sharp, kind of a sharp thrust all day. It's almost impossible. Uh, but normally we do see the, pull, the rise up and the consolidation and then a stair step higher all day. And some more examples of that on some stocks that I've recommended during the day. One was Cooper, which popped early from this kind of a flag. Um, and then uh, we recommended it actually on the first pullback. And by the way, the normally when I see a gap in a run, I look for the first pullback to enter. Now, it didn't give you much early on. And if you were patient, you had to wait four hours, four or five hours for it. But it did finally move from the 67 uh, three quarters area up to 70 uh, plus, which, by the way, I had issued as my target on 70. And also, in terms of targets, during the day, I issue commentary all day. And I follow up the stocks that I recommend. And when we have our, our hourly updates, where I do a video for 15, 20 minutes, I'll explain to everybody. When I'm seeing in those charts, whether they're developing bullishly, whether I'm concerned about them, whether this volume is there, the technical patterns are developing, um, and we'll go over them every every hour or so. So you'll have ample time to and uh, opportunity to follow. So make sure you're involved in the um, with my 
if you're involved with day trades that you're looking and at the charts that i'm posting intraday one minute charts that continue to show the intraday patterns and how they're developing uh, that will give you a much better idea of where you stand and where the stock stands intraday some more examples of stocks that we um, talked about on over the last couple of days um, and some worked and some didn't work as well Here's one that um, we you, perhaps would have been difficult, but I issued a very early buy alert on this. And then it ran up, it pulled back in a wedge, and then went sideways in a beautiful coil for the rest of the session. But you did have an ample opportunity to trade it from about eight and a quarter up to nine for about a 75 cent pop in the first half hour and formed the falling wedge. And if you were lucky enough to get it in, we pointed out that falling wedge. Which gave me an opportunity to get back in around 8:25. It did get up back up to about 8, uh, 65, 70 at that point. So there was some ample opportunity to do a day trade on that as well. And th those are just a few examples of stocks that um, have that we recommend just this last Friday that uh, acted pretty well. Now there's others that didn't. An example of LXU, which popped and then dropped sharply um, from for stabilizing. Finally, when it did stabilize, it went from 34 and three quarters over the next several hours. And, reaching up to 36 and a half. So about $1.75 trade was possible if you caught it right. The problem here is oftentimes when they gap up that big, they could give you a pullback. Watch the first bounce. After they bounce, if they're not bouncing with authority, and, they, and then it may be something you want to watch for the rest of the session and maybe not trade. But normally what I say is if they bounce, back off and then break support, that's an area where you'll be uh, looking at something that may not be the optimal trade. So uh, that's the explanation of some of the day trades. Now, um, my alerts will always say when I to give a buy signal, it's always long, unless I tell you differently. And when I say scalp it during the session, I'm normally saying scalp it because I'm looking for a day trade. Right, a quick scalp for, you know, I may say scalp it for 30 to 50 cents, 75 cents to a dollar. But for me, a scalp is something that's very quick. I'm, look, I'm seeing a very short, quick spurt in the stock. And that's why I say scalp it. Normally, take what you can get out of it, okay? And then um, uh, then you'll have a much better idea and feel for it. But the, the key being early on is when I give you pre-market stocks, you don't necessarily have to buy them at the opening. You can because some of them end up just blowing and, and running hard, and you miss the meat of the move early on. But that's going to have to be your choice. I can't hold your hand for it all day, um, but I can give you continual follow-up and explanations and targets and stops, and I often do that. Now, if the target and stop is an issue right away, it normally is issued within the next 20 minutes or so. If I don't give you a target and stop and you need one, feel free to um, send a message, a private message to me, and I'll be glad, be glad to, to give you that. Anyway, that's it for today. Good luck trading.